What's new in Android 13 Beta 3? Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to see what is new in Android 13 Beta 3. Now, the first change you will notice, of course, is that the security patch is from June of 2022. Next change you will notice is that the navigation bar at the bottom is now bigger and thicker. So here it is. This is your Android 12 navigation bar. And this is how it is on Android 13 Beta 2 as well. But Android 13 Beta 3 makes it a bit bigger and a bit thicker. Maybe they are trying to copy iOS. Next up, when you open your application drawer and you tap on this search bar on the top. For starters, you will get a warning about searching the web. Then whatever you type in over here, you will get your web search options. And if you scroll, then you will have more options like search for this keyword on Google, on YouTube, on Maps, or you can also search on the Google Play Store. And eventually you can search within the settings on your device as well. Now, if you're not a big fan of this web search, then you can disable this. So go back to your application drawer and tap on this search bar here in Tap on the three dot menu on the right hand side, go into preferences and bam, there it is. We can now disable the web preferences. And now if I search for anything else, you can see that I'm not getting the web preferences or the web search, but I'm still getting the other options of searching on Google, YouTube, Maps and the Play Store. Now, something which I think is missing or something which I would have appreciated is how this works on the Android 12. So here it is. And you will notice that I have the option of searching the content, the people, the settings, the shortcuts. So those options are definitely missing. And I'm not sure whether this is a beta thing or this is something which Google has decided and that is how it is going to be in the final build of Android 13. Next up, those of you who have Pixel devices with in-display fingerprint scanners, you will notice that the enrollment UI is a bit different and it does give you a better picture of how to enroll your in-display fingerprint. Then another change you might notice is that if you have your flashlight enabled this over here this here is your at a glance it now tells me to tap to turn off the flashlight and bam there it is the feature works without any issues to enable or disable this you will have to go into home settings at a glance and here and you should have a toggle for flashlight shortcut and reminder when flashlight is on then you will also notice that the reset buttons wherever they are available are now in a pill shape so let us go into settings we can go into display and here in we can say display size and text so of course from this screen you can configure your font size your display size you can also bold the text but here it is the reset settings option is now in a pill shaped button making it more prominent and you definitely cannot ignore it once you see it. Next up, the toggle for predictive back animations has been added. So if you go into settings, system, developer options, of course, you have to make sure that developer options is enabled. Scroll down all the way, scroll up a little bit. And here it is. Predictive back animations. The toggle is now available. Then surprisingly, a few options have been removed as well. So if you go into settings, connected devices, connection preferences, you will over here notice that fast pair has been removed. And even though it didn't do anything, but it has still been removed. And the super surprising thing is if you go into apps, you will notice that game dashboard or game settings has been removed. This was present till beta 2 and this here is Android 12. Here it is. We have the option of game settings, but surprisingly that option is missing in Android 13 beta 3. So I'm not sure what Google is trying to do over here. And then another change you will notice is if you go into settings system, languages and input and app languages previously this would display all the applications installed now it only 
displays applications which support your per app language and as you can see google's own apps of youtube etc are missing from there so i'm pretty sure they're going to add that support down the line but yes only apps which support per app languages now show up in the specific option in your settings and there it is peeps that is what was new in android 13 beta 3 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you